All right, Sagittarius. We're going to try to dig into you and your twin flame. Shenanigans. So we've got different pages, and then we got here and now. But I do see that there's some sort of boundary here that's being set. So with you and your twin flame, you guys are on different pages. Yeah, they're a part of your life. You know who your twin flame is. So a part of your life doesn't necessarily mean that you're still on talking terms with them. It just means that you know who they are. But again, I see that there was some sort of boundary here. And the boundary here was that someone had to release. It's like, you're not giving me what I want, what I deserve. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go heal. And I guess I'm going to go my own way. But there's a longing here. Longing and an obsession because someone rejected or someone got rejected. Interesting. We're going to dig into this. If you guys need anything, check out the description. There's a keen offer where you can get your first 10-minute psychic reading for only $1.99. There's all kinds of little things down there. The cards I use, if I have readings open, they're down there. All right. Give us the overall for Sagittarius and their twin flame. Sagittarius and their twin flame. I want to know the current moment. That's interesting because that's what I'm getting. The current moment is someone being stressed out, burdened, overwhelmed. And it could be because someone here wanted a new offer of love and it someone rejected, didn't take it. What's the challenge of this coming together? What's the challenge of this connection coming together? What's the challenge? Somebody could be very black and white when it comes to their future, when it comes to change and transformation. Someone could also have a really hard time expressing their emotions. Being logical could be easier for the person that you're dealing with, Sagittarius. But a challenge is them moving this out of rough waters into something calmer. Yeah, the challenge is change and transformation. There's this energy here where there's always like fighting or conflict or drama or arguments. It's like when it's good, it's good, but when it's bad, it's bad. Do y'all get what I'm saying? And the current moment is being stressed out, overwhelmed, feeling like you're carrying a lot on your shoulders. So how does this person that Sagittarius is dealing with, Sagittarius is twin flame. How do they view Sagittarius? So when they think of Sagittarius, what do they think of, universe? When they think of Sagittarius, what do they think of? They think of someone who's very loving, giving, caring, nurturing. I also feel like they see you as someone who's really good at using your intuition. It's like you you know when something's no longer serving you. You know when something's breaking your heart. They also view you as someone that they have a, a strong connection with. So this is what I'm getting. They understand and they see the connection, but it gives them anxiety. It gives them worry. It stresses them out. So maybe the intimidation factor here is if you both got on the same page. Now, some of us are born in families and lifestyles where chaos is easy for us. And if someone tries to make us better or makes us see a future that maybe we're not comfortable with or something that we're, that's different, like this person could see so much more with you. Maybe things that they didn't even see for their future. And they're like, oh shit, maybe I'm not on the same page with them. And I don't even necessarily <clears throat> think it's the factor of being on different pages. I just think it's also something here of where one person understands what they deserve from their future. And they're like, hell yeah, this is what I want. This is the kind of love I want. This is the foundation that I want to build. And the other person in this connection is like, yeah, I don't know about it. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I deserve that. I never thought that that would be a possibility for me. And now that it is, it scares me that that's a possibility. So I do feel like this person, again, sees you as a strong connection. They see you as someone that they do have a lot of love for. But there's something here where maybe you guys, again, it's like they're a little more comfortable with maybe holding their self back and settling compared to what you are. You want new beginnings. You want to take leaps. You want to take bounds. You want to invest and see your life flourish to be able to look around your garden and see all the fruits of your labor and know how blessed you are. And it's like, again, this person could have been in a family or could have been taught in some sense, form, or fashion that it's okay to settle, that... <clears throat> Life is what you're given. You don't get to make your life. Different visions. Do you get what I'm saying? Different visions. I feel like you both have different paths. You guys could be very 
on different pages when it comes again to your values, your morals. There's something here. Interesting. How else do they view Sagittarius? <coughs> Excuse me. They view you as someone who's wanting a new beginning. You could be waiting on some sort of offer of love. So it's interesting. You're waiting on some sort of new beginning. And that's the direction you're going in. You're trying to leave the past behind. You're, you're taking that heartbreak and you're like, you know what? I'm going to go forward. I'm going to heal this. I'm going to go from rough waters to calmer waters. I want my life to calm down. They see that you're waiting for the offer that you deserve. That's how they view you. And they see that you're willing to work and invest on something, but you're guarded on what you're willing to work and invest in. Again, if we're on different pages, I don't see me getting what I want from this, so I'm not going to invest. That's someone's energy here. And the other person is like, wait, you can do that? It's like th there's something different about you. There's possibilities, conversations, and things that you've said and you've done that I feel like this person didn't even know was possible. There's a lifestyle that you live as well that I feel like this person can maybe not feel that's possible. Whether this just be a way of thinking, a way of being. So, when they think about Sagittarius in this connection, what do they think about? When they think about this connection, nine of pentacles, they think about how it flourished. But here's the thing. This is those different pages. They feel, they, there was an energy here where they felt like they had did better on their own. They had come in with an offer. They could have indulged some sort of emotions, maybe told you what you wanted to hear. And then as soon as they come in, they were right back out. Again, we're on different pages here. And one person was wanting to indulge their emotions and be emotionally giving and nurturing and caring and vulnerable to get to something more, to get to a traditional commitment, something more than just the Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning. Again, different pages, different pages, and that's how they view this connection. There's a lot of reflection. I feel like this person can maybe see now that you guys weren't on the same pages, that the intentions that they went into this with and the intentions you went into this with were maybe different. Um, again, it's like you're you're wanting things to flourish. Yeah, and there's this back and forth energy. They could have always had this back and forth energy on how much they're going to invest, what path they wanted to choose. Interesting. So what is this person that Sagittarius is dealing with keeping to their self? What is something that this person Sagittarius is dealing with? This twin flame. What are they keeping to their self? <clears throat> so what they're keeping to their self is there's a lot of confusion around you in this connection. I feel like there's a lot of confusion on why you make them so happy out of all the other options. It's like, again, there's this possibility that you bring out in this person that this person never thought that would be a possibility for them. Now they can see having something with someone. They can see having children, having a future, whatever it be for you. They once didn't think that that was it. You guys were on different pages. But now, even if they gave you that clarity, would you accept them? Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like this person, this connection between you two, has really made this person look at their life, look at their morals, their values, the way that they're living. Because I feel like you're very, you're, you're planted firm and solid in what you're wanting, what you're expecting. Yeah, and see, and here, and here it comes. Now we've got a decision. There's a choice or a decision that had to be made or that will be made here in the future on whether or not they want to give you clarity on how you make them feel compared to everyone else. They do feel like you're one in a million. You're so different than any other options that they have. And there's still a lot of confusion around this. But it's like they do see what you want, Sagittarius. So don't get it twisted. And now they have to make the choice on whether they want to put in the work, if they want to invest. Are they ready for a new beginning of love after a hard ending? I still see them stuck. I still see them reflecting on the hard ending, reflecting on the past. So that's good. I mean, <clears throat> like I was just like, yep, judgment. A lot of things could be coming out of their soul. They could be wanting a second chance. They could also feel like they tricked you in some sense, form, or fashion. That could be something that's starting to come out within them. And I'm starting to see that with Page of Cups, wanting to bring some sort of apology. Um, I don't know, but there's an energy here, Sagittarius, where it's like, even if they tricked you, you're like, I don't even know if I want to go through this. I feel like you have good feelings for this person. I don't know. Sagittarius is ultimately your choice. I see you wanting to move forward, though. The water overs here, 
You're in it, you're out. I gotta go. You want new beginnings. What is something Sagittarius isn't seeing about this twin flame that they're dealing with? What is something Sagittarius isn't seeing about this twin flame? <clears throat> is that it's time for them to make a choice. And the choice is, is that they're wanting some sort of new beginning here. See, now they look at you differently. They look at you as the empress and they want to bring in an offer. But is it too late? You know what you want, and you're waiting for that solid offer. You want an emotional offer. You've moved forward. You're at a point where you're ready to drop the burden, and the burden is them. The burden is you guys being on different pages. The burden is you feeling like an option and them not giving clarity and making the choice that you're it. I see them having a lot of emotion for you. Now, I will be honest. The King of Cups sometimes can have a hard time expressing those emotions, <clears throat> and they're really thinking about what they want from their future now. Whatever endings happen between you two is the reason this got triggered. So divine timing is a huge factor. And this falling apart or whatever happened, happened so it could come back together and be more stable. The stability is going to help bring victory. Because I do feel like there's been a fear here. Someone has a fear of, I'm getting someone has a fear of long term. The, the thought of, oh, I'm going to be with someone, one person for the rest of my life, like, and I'm getting scared shitless thinking about that, so I feel like this could be someone's fear in this connection. What do we have? Give me thoughts for this twin flame for Sagittarius. I want Sagittarius's twin flame's thoughts. What do we have? Sagittarius's twin flame's thoughts. I want to feel that way again. So missing again how they felt with you. Them realizing that you're not one of the options. You are one. I remember every detail of that day. So there's something that happened that they think about over and over and over. Look, y'all. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I told you. <clears throat> so if there is a problem in the past where this person didn't see you for who you are and the value that you had, that has shifted. But the issue I feel like is going to be here now is have you changed your value and look at yourself in such a high regard now that you're not going to deal with this baloney or entertain this anymore? And I feel like that could be a worry for this person as well. Like, oh my God, I know what they want, but can I, can I give them that? There's also an energy here where I do feel like, again, that this person misses talking to you, hearing your voice, seeing you. They do miss you a ton, but this person has a hard time moving forward and being that stability. That stability. I compare others to you. I find you so attractive. I wish we could go back. Hold on. Yeah, and look, I need security, and that's what I'm getting. Somebody here does want security, but somebody here could feel like maybe they can't give that security. And somebody does want to come in and start over. But again, that's that lacking energy. If you feel like you're lacking and can't make it happen, well, that manifests into your environment. So they're going to feel that even more. <clears throat> and there's an energy here where they're not sure how you feel. Have you guys noticed how we're going very back and forth? It's like, this is what I want, but what if this happens? This is what I want, but what if this happens? very interesting give me some more of Sagittarius and their twin flame you're tired of having a rocky connection you're ready for things to go smoother and you're willing to wait it out I see that I see that what do you have I hope I will see you again sometime so they're they're wanting to see you they miss you significantly. I hope you're happy. And I don't know how to let you go. <clears throat> and you know why? Because there could have been a time again where they wanted to be single or not take this anywhere. They wanted you guys to flourish on your own and not have that stability be built together. And by stability, this can mean moving in together. This could be getting married, starting to date, whatever it be. For everybody, a stability and a connection is going to be different. But they don't know how to let you go now because you're no longer an option to them. You are the one. You're the strong connection that if, even if 10 people write them, you're the one that they wish was writing them. That's what they feel when they think of you. Does that make sense? There's no connection that can fulfill them the way this connection can, period, point blank. And they're starting to see that. They're starting to get clarity on that. And they want to give you that truth. But again, with different pages, there's an energy here where you've been on different pages. And you could still be on different pages. You could feel like you've outgrown this person. 
I, I'm, I'm seeing that. And there's an energy here where you're like, you know what? I know more than you think. I can feel more than you think. And I'm just not sure about it. I'm just not sure if this is worth it. But I do see an apology. <clears throat> I do see an apology coming in. Y'all, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> what is something that Sagittarius isn't seeing about this twin flame? What is something that Sagittarius isn't seeing about this twin flame? They're resting right now. They're trying to disconnect to be able to get the clarity that they feel that they need so they can take action. Because they do want to take really, they want to take quick action to you. But right now they're in their head. They're losing a lot of sleep. Their energy is very overwhelming and it's very hard for them to control that right now. Which is having a hard time letting them come in. But they're hopeful. They're hopeful that they can bring you some new offer and that you're going to accept it. And it's like they know that the things that have happened and the confusion that they left you with has made you sad and disappointed. They know, and they've reflected on that. Whew. Interesting. All right. What's the upcoming future energy? So I see the tower. Something unexpected is going to happen. Something you don't see coming when you don't see coming it. So it's just going to be when you're sitting on the couch chilling or doing something like that. Something's going to happen. Upcoming future energy for these two. Again, I do feel like this person's wanting to come in because they don't know how to let you go. They don't, Sagittarius. Yeah, they're wanting to bring balance. They're ready to close this cycle and start a new cycle with you. They want to balance this. I feel like they've been awakened to this connection. Yeah, King of Wands. That's what I'm saying. They've been awakened to what they want from their future. And they do want that stability that they fought so hard off. Because you guys are showing up as a match. And it's like, if I if I can invest and work on anything with anyone, I would want it to be Sagittarius. And it's time for me to choose that path. It's time for me to see things clearly. And to see that the person who's investing in me and who always has invested in me and who's practical and logical and nurturing and caring and grounded for me the person that I feel like balances me out and understands me is Sagittarius. And I miss that stability. Again, them wanting to come in fast. The only thing holding them back is them being in their head and having a lot of anxiety about the outcome of this. And I feel like they're scared that you're going to walk away again, possibly. Interesting. All right, Sagittarius, we're actually going to leave that here for today. Have a blessed day.